So I have an opinion on uh, this summoning event. And I think my opinion is probably a little bit on the positive side more than normal for me. And I actually really like this event and I want to make a few uh, reasons as to why. Uh, first and foremost, the last time a guaranteed champion event came out, it had uh, some pretty big problems related to it. Um, one of the event problems was the hero that was a guaranteed champion was 150 shards, so we have a cheaper offer at 120. Granted, the other hero was arguably the better hero between this and Ginzen, so maybe it was worth more shards. Now, let's throw that out the window for a second and let's talk about one other point. The previous, excuse me, the previous event also had another issue, which was during the guaranteed champion summon, the 10X that was also happening in relation and correlation at the same time was the same hero that was the guaranteed champion. So instead of a 10X for Dracomorph and Hegemon or whatever, you had a 10X for Ginzen while you're guaranteeing Ginzen. Now, why is this a problem? Well, when you pull hero shards at 220, you're guaranteed a legendary all of the time. At 200, the pity begins. It starts ramping up, right? Well, if you're pulling for a guaranteed champion, the guaranteed champions don't eat up your pity because it's supposed to be like a bonus hero. Well, when they added the 10X of the hero as well as, a lot of people were pulling their pity sooner than the 120. So like they were 200 in, they pull 20 more, they're at 20 end of the 120, and they get the hero because it's on the 10X, and that automatically closed out the event and ate their pity. Basically, you see what I'm saying? Because of the way their shards lined up and it effectively was either a really bad event for some people or undoable for others because they know that they would be sacrificing basically a legendary and it's not really the guaranteed champion like it says it was. Now, this event I really like because these issues are resolved. First of all, it does not take your pity when you get this hero. So if you hit the 120 shards and you get him, your Pity, if you have not hit a legendary, is still going. It's still counting. Let's say you have you have opened zero shards, your very last shard was a legendary, and it's a fresh reset. You do 120 shards, you get Ginzen. Your 121st shard is still 121 into Pity. It doesn't reset. For that reason, this is a true bonus champion, and I like that. Now, they say here, the guaranteed champion of it will finish straight away if you summon him out of a shard before 120, which is the only way summoning Ginzen will clear your pity. Now, this might seem bad, but it's actually not because it, it does literally the exact same thing if the bonus event was not going on. If you still pull Ginzen without this bonus event, it would end your pity. So it might be a little bit confusing, but this is actually objectively the best way to do this, I believe, in implementation of the game. Now, there's something we could argue about, which is the pricing, how many ancient shards, the fact that this wasn't a big heads up, things like that. There's other points being made and I'll again put those to the side because I'm sure that I agree with those points and I'm sure there's other people already making those points. What I wanna say here is feedback and sort of hopefully specifically the Plarium that you're going the right way with these events. That I actually have a very optimistic view of these events. That I actually see guaranteed champion events as really good for the average casual player and only seem bad when you're heavily into the game and into the economy of the game and you can sort of see the valuation behind it. Whereas eventually that one casual player is going to want that one hero and they have that opportunity to do so while a otherwise very good 10X is going on, which is the other part of this. The heroes that they decided to add in addition to the 10Xs are good heroes. Now, as you guys know, Dracomorph is the meme for me. I spent $16,000 chasing Dracomorph. We never got him. I quit the game for six months, pulled one ancient shard when I came back on my main and got him out of a free to play shard, okay? Now, that's a true story and you can find that video on this channel. So, I, th he's a meme for me but he's an amazing hero, one of the best heroes in the game, and empowering him is obviously completely disgusting because he hits very, very, very hard. I can literally hit over 300,000 damage off a basic attack in the clan boss. And that is, is an insane amount of damage just off a of basic, and that's with zero empowerments. So this is well food, and people will be maxing out this Draco, and this is exactly what I said would have happened when we saw the duplicate empowerment system. Now, the, I wanna talk briefly about the duplicate system empowerment in the future of content. If you look 
at the 10 X's. They are, in my opinion, going to be uh, sniping off the ones that people are going to want to be doing empowerment for. And, and it makes sense because you're gonna get loads of cash from the massive wells doing this and, and sort of flatlining the power base in arena. Um, the one other thing I wanna say about the dupe uh, system is I never thought they were gonna actually add in a dupe system, admittedly, uh, of, of the level that they did. Now, I don't, I wanna say two things about it. I don't dislike the system. I, you know, it's it's good. It's better than I thought we would have got. Uh, it, however, in closing the duplicate system has one thing which I think was really missing, which was the ability and uh, to re-roll basically your heroes into other heroes. They have the token life trader. And from the information that we've seen in the token life trader, the heroes that are there are set. I haven't seen anything about rotating other heroes in there yet and the heroes that are in there in my opinion aren't um aren't things that i think people are mostly excited about especially when sir nick cost eight of them so i think what the duplicate system legitimately is when it boils down to it is effectively a sales pitch for events like this one where you get guaranteed champions and they'll be they'll slowly start selling guaranteed champions like Sifi or something where you empower them up 10 X's for heroes for the empowerment and well wars going into a PVP focus in 2022. Now, whether or not this is really bad for the game and would destroy the game and all that stuff that I'm sure I've said and many other people have said, I don't know and it will be impossible to tell. It really depends completely upon how much they're able to pump out content that can keep pace with the new power structures, as well as how much people are willing to spend and keep up with pacing of the content. We'll see how they find that balance. However, for me today, on, on this event and where we stand, I actually like this event. I think it's a step in the right direction. It's 30 shards less than the previous one. It's not a 10X for the one that will also end your pity as well as in the guaranteed on the same one. That's an improvement. Um, across the board, I like it. I'll mention one other thing here, which is that obviously the pricing should be like 80. That's my opinion on it, but whatever. And then if you go to cyber offers, I also think that, come on, you could have hit us with like some real offers. I think a sacred shard and four voids for 29 bucks. It's like, bro, throw that out there for $10 on Cyber Monday. Let everyone just one time the whammies it up during your 2X and stuff. Like, come on. Um, other than that, I mean, it's once a year. I mean, come on, dude. Like, it's not... It's not that much better. It's not better than this. It's literally not even better than this one. Like the monthly pack, it's worse than the monthly pack. Like just straight up. It's straight up worse than it. So I, that's another thing. Like you're, you guys are moving in the right direction. I am becoming more and more positive about the game. I'm actually in a position where I believe the game is legitimately a good game in this day and age in terms of goshes. And they are actually like a, a threat to be dealt with in terms of other gosha games. Um, I just think we need to keep going the right steps keep going the right way. I, I'm, I'm feeling better and better about it. And it's nice to see that even though with these events that have their problems, you know, the bait and switch, you know, again, I'm avoiding the topic points that we all agree on. Okay. Bait and switch. It's expensive right after the two X, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I get it. I get it. We've all made those points a million times. So I'm trying to make points that haven't already been made. And in, in my opinion, um, this is better than the previous guaranteed champion. So if we're making steps in the right way if the next one is this much better than this one is on the previous one if you're seeing if they keep that same pace the next guaranteed champion event will actually be pretty good because hopefully it'll be like under a hundred shards and will be a really you know a, a legendary about that level i think Genzin 120 should be about 80 shards in my evaluation but that's just me personally love y'all thanks for watching this video consider subscribing i'm gonna go live now i've been no life in awaken chaos literally every single day uh, i've been streaming um i did a <laughs> Wow, I, I was looking at my stats here. I did 148 hours of streaming in like 10 days. So I'm, I'm a little no life in it, but I'll see you guys there.